Hey guys, uh, I wanted to tell you a little bit about how the um, Tracy Kidder project started. So I read Mountains Beyond Mountains uh, my junior year of, of, or sorry, my my freshman year of college uh, in Janice Week's HIV AIDS class. And if you if you haven't read it, then I really think you should. Um, it it is a very inspiring book. I've been involved with some public health things, and I was really interested in HIV when I read it. Um, but it really takes a unique approach at activism and college uh, and idealism, um, and it presents this really interesting character where that you're not sure how you, you're supposed to feel about him. But it was so inspiring for me that that um, that I I really jumped into it um, and ended up uh, working for um, a, an organization that raises money for for uh, the main character of the book. Uh, Paul Farmer and his organization, Partners in Health. They do uh, a lot of global health treatment in Haiti, um, particularly kind of focusing on HIV AIDS. Um, and so I got involved with this organization called Face AIDS. Um, and a few of my friends and I, uh, in during my sophomore year, so what, four years ago, um, we started, we kind of relaunched uh, an Oregon Face AIDS chapter and called Students for Global Health. Uh, it was the first global health um, focused student group at the University of Oregon um, and actually in in uh, the Oregon University system and uh, so we from that point on we kind of threw a lot of in cool events um, and we do these benefit concerts um, movie nights you know information stuff but uh, a few years ago, we threw a, a conference, uh, and the ASU I was uh, nice enough to support us with a seven hundred thousand dollar grant. Um, and the conference had a total budget of twenty five thousand dollars, and it was super successful. Had hundreds of participants, um, and it was ended up being the national conference for for this larger student organization. Um, when that was over, I realized that you know all of this for me was was kind of started by this one book, and I was like, man, you know. Like, this has been really incredible for me to be, I've, I've been so inspired by, you know, you know, this 200 pages. I was like, I, I think that everyone really should read this book. So I started with the Honors College, um, and one of my friends who goes to Stanford had, had approached the president of Stanford um, and had asked that, uh, that, that they have a common summer reading. And I was like, oh, that's a great idea. How about I ask the Honors College to do that? So I talked to Dean Frank um, and Louise Bishop, and they were all about it. Um, we bought 200 copies of the book, uh, and the freshman read it, and that was last summer, or two summers ago. Um, and then we, and I was like, hey, you know, maybe we can have a chance to have Tracy Kidder come and talk, um, because, uh, the, the, one of the keynote speakers at this HIV AIDS conference that I was previously talking about, um, was, is this guy named Deo Gracias Nizan Kiza, who is the subject of, um, of Tracy Kidder's newest book, um, and so I was like, well, I know Deo, um, because of this conference, and, you know, maybe we can, we can talk, talk to him and see if Tracy wants to add us to this book tour that he's, that he's doing, um, and so it was, it was a little too late, um, and, and Tracy ended up getting sick that year, um, and so we, we had to cancel it, uh, for last year, but fortunately, uh, kind of just gave the the program an excuse to expand, um, and uh, Karen Sprague and a lot of the people, um, uh, I including the president, really jumped on the idea of having a common summer reading program, um, and uh, and they started it this year. This is the first annual common summer reading program, um, and so President Lurier, uh discussed it at. Convocation. The subject was the was uh, was actually this common summer reading program, and um, and Tracy's uh, explanation of Paul and kind of taking Paul as an example of what what U of O student should be uh, should be like, uh, which is cool. And So the common, common summer reading happened, um, and uh, and then we have these online forms, where people can come and comment on um, all of these different, you know, like philosophical questions or whatever, 
as the as the summer's happening, and then uh, and then they can talk about it in their figs and chips, uh, and in their classes or whatever. I think it's a really cool idea, um, and so it's expanded into this really big program, um, and and now we have uh, now Tracy's kind of re-upped his his uh, his ability to come here, um, and so. Um, so he's coming on March 1st, and mm, I worked for Village Health Works sometime in between there for six months. Um, mm, all right, sounds good.